What's your background? What are you doing? So we're dairy farming in Winton, 50-50 uh, share milkers and going to a larger job first of June, continuing the dairy industry. So the outlook is pretty good, you're, you're, you're striving to get your own ownership? Yeah definitely, no, the outlook's to a farm ownership within five years so we're still tracking that way, yeah. Had a good season? Yep, we've worked with it, um, it's been challenging weather and payout wise but no no we're working with it and we'll get there. So at Winton, no irrigation, in fact you're probably trying to take water off are you rather than put it on? Yeah, yeah, through to November we're trying to get rid of it and um, of late we've had a pretty good um, autumn so there's been no too many issues for the second half of the season. Winton, have you got restrictions on your rear and things in there? No, not yet, no. It's coming? Uh, well, it will change in the foreseeable future like the whole rest of the country is. Um, yeah, we'll just work, work with it when it arrives. Yeah, tell me about Young Farmers as the challenge of, of the contest. Why did you enter? I uh, entered Young Farmers for a start to sort of network with people um, that are like-minded and then entered the contest to just yeah, compare yourself and benchmark yourself with where you sit in the industry and um, always be at that upper level so you can sort of strive ahead. Interesting that you probably have to have a very broad knowledge. I mean, you're going to get questions on cropping, horticulture and sheep and kippy. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and um, I've done a BCOM Ag at Lincoln, so we've sort of been been associated with that while we we're there and got a lot of friends and people within the club that have been associated with those farming practices. So, yeah, we've got people we can rely on to feed us information and questions. And, of course, you just got to keep reading and learning and listening. Indeed, yep, yep. The world's forever changing and so do the questions. So, now just keeping up with current affairs and all the new industry practices is probably key. So speaking of keys, what's the key to getting dairying back on a strong footing? Um, just, just ride through it, it's just a wave, um, like any industry. So if you can get through these next sort of two seasons, um, yeah, you'll be more than comfortable and, and still get to where you want to be. So it's just bite the bullet and swallow hard? Indeed, yep, yep. And, and keep talking to people, all your professionals, let them know what's happening. Um, yeah, don't go into a room by yourself and now you'll get there.